Now to this, two months after being ousted as Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy is leaving Congress at the end of the year. It's a historic downfall. McCarthy was the first Speaker of the House to be removed from that powerful post. KTLA's Carlos Acedo joins us on set with more details. Carlos. Pedro Scher, good evening. Once the most powerful man on Capitol Hill, Kevin McCarthy made history as the first Speaker to get booted out. The Trump ally compromised with Democrats to prevent a government shutdown earlier this year, and that's what essentially led to his demise. Now with his resignation, the Republican-controlled House has an even slimmer majority. The House will be in order. Consider it a fall from grace. One second in line to the presidency, Kevin McCarthy was removed from the speakership by far-right members of his own party for compromising with Democrats two months ago. Then he was adamant he would not step down. That's a wrap. Now a different tune. The Republican representing California's 20th congressional seat announced his resignation, calling it quits by year's end. It's a bit of a surprise. Also not a huge surprise. For the one-time deli counter owner from Bakersfield turned most powerful man on Capitol Hill, the announcement caps a stunning end to his house career, something his recent demotion led to this. That was a historic defeat. And frankly, I think that he can go into the private sector, maybe do something that's more lucrative. I think that the job might not be as much fun for him. It's somewhat like going from president of a corporation to a middle manager in the sense that he was a leader. Now he's one of many. The man who would replace him, Speaker Mike Johnson, had nothing but praise. Kevin is a has been a long and trusted friend and we commend his long service and sacrifices for the House and um, we wish him well. But McCarthy rival and Florida Congressman Matt Gates, credited for leading his ousting, posted this send off on X simply stating McLeaving. The attention now turns to who will throw their hat in the ring to run in a special election. It's an opportunity to see who is going to be representing that area for the next, you know, could be decades. Whoever the Republican is, they will have a clear path to victory because the district is overwhelmingly red, with Republicans outnumbering Democrats by nearly 20 percentage points. And California Governor Gavin Newsom will have to call a special election to fill his open seat, which covers the Central Valley. Reporting live, Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News. Carlos, thank you.